What's up guys, gonna talk to you about speed ramping today. And speed ramping is really cool when you have slow motion footage, when you wanna go from a smooth slow motion shot to speeding up within the same clip, or you can also use speed ramping when transitioning from one clip to another. So let me show you in Final Cut Pro 10 how I do that. All right, so if you wanna speed ramp from one, within the exact same clip, so let's just say we wanna speed ramp from here to here. And what I just put right there are markers. And all you have to do is tap M when you have your clip selected to put a marker. So anyway, you don't have to do this, but once you have this slider right here, and you know you wanna start the speed ramping from there, you hold down shift and you press B. So it splits that, and then you go over here, and you know this is where you wanna end the speed ramp, you hold down shift, and then you press B again. So now you have the middle part to mess around with the speed. So you can either just click and drag it to speed it up, right, that's one way to do it. Or you can go over to this arrow, choose some of the defaults, speed it up by a lot. And there you go. So, and depending on how, on what frame rate you shot it in, um, you know, I have to speed up really quickly because I shot in 70, 72 frames per second. So it's gonna be really sm smooth in slow motion. When you zoom in and you see these little sliders, this actually controls the ease into which the speed ramp occurs. So if you want it to happen abruptly, it just, just like that, you can, bring it a lot closer to where that speed up happens. If you want it to happen really smoothly, you can drag it out just like what you saw here, and then boom, it just kind of appears right there versus the other way where it just kind of happens all of a sudden, right there. So mess around with that to your liking and see whatever, whatever you find fit for your project. All right, so now let's go into how to transition from um, how to transition from one clip to another using speed ramping. So I'm gonna go over here, all right? So let's say he's walking and we want the speed rep transition to happen from, let's just do it right there. So basically we're gonna speed ramp into the next clip. By the way, this clip was shot at 60 frames per second, so I wanna slow motion it right away. So you can click here, click on the speedometer thing here, go to automatic speed, and it'll automatically conform the clip to the timeline, um, as opposed to it being in real time. It's gonna give you that smooth slow motion shot because I shot this clip in 60 frames per second. So let's go from this clip, speed ramping into this clip. I wanna speed it up from starting right there. So you. You drag this over here, hold shift, press B, speed it up. I'm gonna go to 20X, and then now you're gonna go to this clip, and let's say we have it start right there. So shift B, speed it up, let's go, let's do, let's do 20 also, see how that looks. So we're gonna go from this clip, speed ramp into that clip. So that's kind of all of a sudden, that's very sudden in my opinion. Um, maybe not to you, but it, it's all dependent on your taste, so. So you can kind of see how it goes from smooth, quick to smooth, right? So to the uh, untrained eye, as you see, it just kind of catches you off guard for a little second and just kind of smooth as it, smooth the transition a little bit. It makes it kind of cool. Um, one thing you can do is also add a cross dissolve and making this happen a lot more smooth. So you can just press that there. You can even make that even smaller, but that's up to you. I kind of don't like the cross dissolve. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. Those are the two ways. Speed ramping from within the same clip or speed ramping from as a transition from one clip to another. So hopefully that tutorial helped you out, got you thinking a little bit more of how you can use that in your upcoming projects. Uh, two ways to do it, as I mentioned, speed ramping within the same clip or speed ramping from one clip to another as, and using it as a transition. So keep on creating, keep on grinding, and I'll talk to you guys next time.